coming together tonight in Aurora to try and end the frightening violence that is happening mainly toward the women there. This comes after three women were shot, two of them killed, in two different early morning shootings this week, and still no one is in custody. We've been following both of these cases for you closely. They're hoping that community and law enforcement can come together, do whatever it takes to keep anyone else from falling victim. Tori Mason reporting tonight for us, and that that gathering. And Tori, women you talked with tonight are pretty shaken up over this. Yes, Karen, and just earlier this week, City Council discussed a plan to address the rising crime in the city. But after this week, people want more than a plan. They demand action. It's just more terrifying that we're seeing women pop up dead every day within the last week. Christabel Grovera is raising two young daughters in a city where lives are being cut short. These women came here to say enough is enough. We need to know what's going on. We need to know how to keep our the women in our community safe. Um, and what's being done about it. Just a day earlier, a woman was shot dead in an Aurora parking lot and another killed the day before. So far, no arrests have been made. Lord, we pray the spirit of protection. Is Pastor Michael on. Gatewood it's says it's time the city works together to end this violence. These women have been victimized in the most tragic way. And it's something that the police department is something that we have to look at as a whole in the community. As the council works toward crime reduction, the pastor hopes people find the courage to speak out and speak up. I'm just hoping and praying that we can bridge the gap of communication between law enforcement and ease the tension so that we can go to them. Guevara says justice for these women depends on it. Investigate more, bring more awareness um, and bring more attention to what's going on. Now, Christabel's daughter actually knew a young woman who had died in the metro area recently. She says this violence is getting to a point where it's going to hit home for a lot of people and not just in Aurora. We're live in Aurora, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.